Hi there guys, so my name is Miki and today I'm gonna show you how to install uh, RAM memory into your computer. So uh, let's just get it on. First of all, this is a very fast memory. This is the G Skill Trident Z, uh, pretty fast one, 3600 with CL15. So no RGB because uh, RGB uses uh, what's so called the bus speed from the RAM themes and what that does is actually takes up some speed of the RAM which means that it can't really overclock so well but CL15 it's mighty fast if I manage to get it working so um, since you already saw this is uh, an AMD New Ryzen 1700 uh, it's running stock at the moment since um, I'm still waiting for my AIO, but hopefully, uh, well, eventually it will get here and we can deal with that when it gets here. So, first of all, when installing RAM, uh, it's uh, very important to, I mean, not just RAM, I mean, any hardware in your computer, is to ground yourself like this. Woohoo! So, make sure you're grounded, uh, and also it is quite uh, advisable that uh, in order to ground be very effective, is to ground yourself, like bare feet, woohoo! Basically, that's it. And, uh, because you're grounding yourself to the computer, make sure uh, it is grounded to the metal part, not to the plastic, and also make sure your PSU is plugged and running okay so uh, let's get it on first I'm gonna unpack my memory and then we're gonna test it so uh, the second thing we should do is definitely test the RAM the best way to test it is to actually put one stick in and then turn on the computer and see if it's gonna run and if it does uh, get that memory out and then put the other stick inside and try to turn it on. Uh, this will make sure that uh, both of the sticks individually work. However, um, it will not run in dual channel or anything. So the third thing is do not believe memory manufacturers. Why? Because there is no such thing as uh, dual channel memory so this memory there are two sticks but they are not dual channel dual channel memory depends on the CPU you have installed and the motherboard you have it in okay so now I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna get my uh, RAM sticks outside and connect my monitor and get this job working Okay guys, here they are, almost unpacked, so let's get them inside. So first of all, I mean the first of all is getting them out of the box, but first make sure you open this small, um, let's call them holders for the RAM, especially into DIM1, so basically you just need to open them. Okay, once you open them, it should look like this. All of them are opened, and here we have some closed ones and some open ones. I'm sorry for the bad picture because, uh, you know, uh, recording on the cell phone at the moment. Uh, you know, I'm working to get myself a new camera. Hopefully, it will be soon. Anyway, let's get this party started. So, I'm gonna get uh, my memory sticks out and then we're gonna install them inside uh, so just let's get them out okay guys so here is my memory stick as you, as you can see it's awesome anyway so make sure you uh, always push it gently and make sure it aligns 
with uh, like small nudges inside the dim. Make sure you never, I mean never use too much force. You just push it in slowly and it should just, you know, enter easy. Okay. There you go. You can you can hear the click like. So I guess that's it. Now uh, let's just turn the power on. Okay. So the motherboard is receiving power as you can see by the le uh, red LED. And let's hope nothing will explode. Okay. So uh, the RGB fusion is working and that's the first sign that everything is okay. And as you can see, my Windows is already running, basically. That's it. It means that this memory stick is quite all right. So let's, uh, let's turn off the computer and get the other stick there. So the computer is now off and when you are changing any hardware in your computer, make sure you find this small switch and turn it off, just in case. I mean, you should never risk a power surge or anything like that. So let's uh, just notch this small RAM holders slowly. And bring the memory stick out. So this one is okay. And we're gonna put it right there. Let's test the second one. So it's the same. Slowly and gently. Make sure it fits. Sorry for the camera, guys. I mean, I don't have any holder for it. And I'm really, you know, trying to do this the best I can. Okay, so it fits. Everything seems to be okay. If the holders are holding the RAM, that should be enough signal that everything inst is installed a-okay so remember turn the PSU back online and let's see okay RGB fusion is working and yep we got the post screen and the windows running so basically both of these RAM sticks are working properly. So the next step should be finding the memory channel configuration. It is in your uh, motherboard manual. So in my case we should install one in DDR1 and the other one in DDR4-2. This is the gaming K7. And in every manual, you have a channel configuration about your RAM stacks. So you should read them to make sure that your channel is using dual channel system. Okay, so let's turn off the computer and get the second one, uh, second stick into it. Okay guys, so the computer is now offline and exactly same, find your PSU, disable it and let's install the second stick. Uh, it actually doesn't matter which stick goes into which because they are both the same. Uh, so the only important thing is to just uh, consult your motherboard manual about the dual channel system, uh, battery at dual channel memory 
and let's uh, try to get it in. Remember, do not force anything. There is exactly what goes where and you should never force anything. There we go. So that's it. Okay. So both memory are installed and this seems to be stable. There we go. So as before, make sure you turn on your PSU. The good motherboards or the expensive one will usually light up and let's start the computer. Okay, the RGB fusion is working. Um, that usually means that both of the RAM sticks are working and are detected properly. Okay, let's check the status. Okay. So, here it is. Task manager. Performance. Oh, that's basically it. As you can see, 16 gigs. And that's it. Sorry for the flash, guys. Anyway, um, so that's it. We got the both memory sticks installed and they are working properly. Uh, okay, so in the next video, we shall try to overclock the memory to default uh, speed because this is running at 2133. Because Ryzen is a fairly new platform, uh, I will definitely need to uh, update, update BIOS and we shall see everything from there. Anyway, guys, make sure you like it if you enjoyed the video and dislike it if you didn't. And I hope to see you next time.